hello everybody welcome to financial channel so today i have got for you all very important chapter that is the angel in disguise from the treasure pro so first of all we'll be beginning the chapter uh, for right now like i'm not going to explain i'm not going to read the whole chapter but i'll be explaining it uh, like for example mary be revision ho hi jayegi by doing this as isliye i am making this video so if you like it then share it with uh, your friends if you like it if you don't like it then also share it okay oh very important chapter this is uh, i'll be giving you some of the important words as well and if you like uh, want those words just go to my telegram channel where you will get the notes of this chapter an angel in disguise an angel in disguise summary in the story of a little girl maggie an identified poor woman dies from consumption of alcohol the village had outcast her due to this addiction however the villagers felt sympathetic to her death hence they arranged a proper funeral for her that woman had three children a farmer decided to adopt the eldest john his son is 12 years thinking he could assist him in his field work as he was farmer so he could help him in his field work then mrs alice adopted kate who is a few years too young to work in any factory she complained of her being undisciplined and she pretended that she is doing a favor to her but <coughs> mrs alice was always looking a bright active girl for her to work in her household however the youngest child maggie was left alone due to the poor health she fell from a window in a very younger age that fall damaged her spine thus she was permanently bedridden everyone suggests sending her to the poor house however no one make an effort to do something about it after the funeral everyone leaves without even a glimpse at maggie however joy thompson lingers joy works as a wheelwright in the village he makes wooden wheels for wagons and carts although he looks to be a tough man but he is kind and loves children to his disgrace he and his wife are incapable to have kids maggie sees all the villagers going away from her but she recognizes joey who still standing outside her home she calls out for him and requests not to leave her alone Joey knows his wife Jane Thompson very well. He was sure of her not being very happy to see Maggie. Yet yet he carries her to his home. His thought turned to his wife was not pleased to see her. Also, she asks his husband to get rid of her as earliest as possible. The answer he says that he had read many a time in the bible that people helping children shan't be unrewarded joy also requests her to put aside the bitterness of her heart furthermore he asks her to look at pity condition of maggie she is motherless homeless and permanently bedridden although mrs thompson doesn't say anything to her husband her heart melts a little for maggie because of hearing these things which joy thompson said about the bible and all the other thing which he said to his wife melted her heart a bit only a bit joy tells his wife that he will make his earnings and he will call the poor house to take maggie the coming day as someone has to sign as guardian then he leaves for work however 
However, in the night, he sees Mrs. Thompson sitting by Maggie's bed and talking or rather, or rather Maggie's answering to Mrs. Thompson's questions. He felt the need to keep the matter of Maggie aside. Thus, he chooses to remain quiet on the matter. He goes to see Maggie and the theme for a bit. While having supper, Mrs. Thompson asks her husband as to what he is going to do with the child. Joey tells that he would let her go to the poor house the next day. Now, we get to know that Mrs. Thompson did not want to leave the child as she had choose. She has chosen not. She had melted her heart upon her now. However, Joey notices that years of bitterness has finally begun to fade off. She takes food for Maggie into her small room and waits for her to finish it. The innocence, sweetness, unconditional love and gratitude of Maggie fills the gap that has been created in Mrs. Thompson's heart for her. She tells Joey about her desire to keep Maggie for a couple of days more. However, that day never came when the people from the poor house came to take Maggie. They remained together forever as a family. Thus, I will conclude the story. The story gives us a strong message that love can conquer anything in the world. Unconditional love can soften even a stone-hearted person. <coughs> so this is what we have completed, the angel in disguise. I'll give you some of the important MCQs on this question, this uh, chapter. If I do have, I'm just checking if I do have. Okay. Okay. Very good. So yeah. Some very very important uh, glow. So right now I'm giving you the glossary. Afterwards I'll give you MCQs and some important questions. And with the answers, uh, glossary. First word is idleness. The meaning is the state of being indolent or laziness. Temperance. Second word is temperance, meaning patience, calmness. Scoffed, S C O F F E D. The meaning is laugh at with contempt and derision. Fourth, a poor house, a charitable institution where poor or homeless people are lodged. Fifth, sanity, like a characteristics of a saint. Sixth, mended, mended means to repair. Shrink, seventh is shrink. To become smaller. Apt. A-P-T. Apt. That is fit or suitable. Errand. A trip to accomplish a small mission or to do some business. Tenth. Contenance. That is appearance. Especially the feature and expression of the face. Okay. So... I will give you some questions which are very important. Okay. What did the neighbors do to help? The answer you will be writing is the neighbors rushed to the deliberated cottage of the woman to help. Some carried grave clothes for decent interment of the body and some with food for the half starving children, three in number. Second question, describe the three children. The dead, you'll be writing, the dead woman had three children. John, the oldest, a boy of 12, was a stout lad, able to earn his living with any farmer. Kate, between 10 and 11, was a bright, active girl, out of whom something clever might be made, if in good hand. But poor little Maggie, the youngest, was hopelessly diseased. Two years before, a fall from window had injured her spine 
and she had not been able to leave her bed since except when lifted in the arms of her mother okay so this is a very important question though uh, like they are important but which are very important those only i am telling you right now who took kt and why mrs alice took kt as she had been looking for a bound girl to work in her house why however mrs alice pretended that she was doing some charity as she said that the girl would be of no use for her for several years and would surely cause some trouble as she seemed headstrong and undisciplined and this is also important what solution did the rough man suggest for maggie that is the poor house Sec, uh, now i am going to give you some homework questions you may write them down if you want that is describe the feeling and plight of maggie when she was left alone what idea do we get of the character of mrs thompson mrs thompson and mr thompson both okay what brought eloquence to joy's lips when he spoke to his wife this is also important what did joy wanted to convey to his wife from his quotes from the bible this quote huh. what attracted joy's attention that so you know that uh, mrs thompson was sitting by the side of the bed so that's what you have to write this is an homework question okay not much okay this is very important this is an uh, question which may be asked or may not be asked but this is a logical question who was the angel why does the author say she was this guy i'm giving the answer for this maggie was the angel who came into their house she came disguised disguised as a sick helpless and miserable child and filled all its dreamy chambers with the sunshine of love <coughs> the author says she is disguised because her true self of love and beauty was hidden from the eyes of everyone and only when the thompsons selflessly cared and loved her did the angel shower them with bless happiness and blesses blessings in their lives okay so here we come to the end of this video uh, i'm going to upload one of the video for I'm not going to upload video for Little Maxwell because I don't think so. That is a bit hard. I'm going to upload a video for the Blue Beard, so please stay tuned.